We're going to be working around fuel here, so we want to take some basic safety precautions. Always work in a well-ventilated area free of any source of ignition. That means hot incandescent shop lights and hot water heaters. If you smoke, now's a really good time to quit, at least while you're performing this work. As always, whenever you're working on your vehicle, you should be wearing safety glasses, and now's a good time to get yourself some chemical resistant gloves. But most importantly, have a properly rated and fully charged fire extinguisher handy and know how to use it. On the six cylinder engines, on the top of the fuel rail cover, use a pick to remove the mounting bolt covers, green arrows. Remove the two 10 millimeter fasteners, green arrows, that hold down the fuel rail. Pull up on the O2 sensor connectors to release them from their hold down clips and move them out of the way. Remove the two 10 millimeter fasteners, green arrows, that mount the fuel rail to the intake manifold. At the front of the fuel rail, unplug the electrical connector by pushing the retaining clip, green arrow, in and pushing the connector down in the direction of the blue arrow. In between the number one and two intake cylinder runners, push in the retaining clip, green arrow, on the solenoid and pull up on the electrical connector. Pull up on the injector connector housing to start unplugging each injector. You may have to gently lever at each connector using a flathead screwdriver. Be careful not to damage the fuel injector when removing the electrical connectors. Move the injector connector housing out of the way. Lift up the fuel rail to expose the fuel line connections at the back of the rail. Mark the line so you know which goes where during installation. Push the black plastic retaining clips, green arrow, in the direction of the blue arrow. The fuel lines, red arrows, will also disconnect from the fuel rail in the direction of the blue arrow. Wrap this area in a rag to absorb any fuel that leaks out. Remove the fuel pressure regulator vacuum line by twisting it and pulling it off of the rail. You can now remove the fuel rail from the car. Make sure to plug the open injector ports with clean shop rags or towels. Installation is the reverse of removal and expect the vehicle to run a little rough when it first starts as air is purged from the system. On to the 8 cylinder motors. Remove the four 10 millimeter fasteners, green arrows, that hold down both the fuel rail and the engine cover mounting brackets. Unplug the knock sensor connector on the left side of the injector connector housing. Unplug the knock sensor connector on the right side of the injector connector housing. Unplug the additional electrical connector on the front of the right side wiring injector connector housing by squeezing the electrical connector retaining clip and pulling the connector off the housing. Loosen the two 10 millimeter fasteners, green arrows, that hold the left side injector connector housing to the intake manifold. You do not have to remove them, just loosen them. Repeat the same for the right side injector connector housing. Pull out the coil retaining clip on each coil connection on both sides of the engine. Pull up on each coil connection to unplug each coil on both sides of the engine. Unplug the last injector connector on the left side by pushing on the retaining clip, green arrow, and pulling up on the connector. Lift up on the left side injector connector housing to unplug the rest of the injectors on the left side. Perform the same procedure on the right side. On the back left side of the fuel rail, push in the black plastic clip in the direction of the blue arrow and the fuel line will release from the fuel rail. At the back right side of the fuel rail, remove the fuel pressure regulator vacuum line, green arrow, by twisting it and pulling it off the regulator port. Lift up on the fuel rail by pulling up on it in the direction of the blue arrow. Spray some carb cleaner down at the base of each injector to act as a lubricant and allow the O-rings to slide out easier. Make sure to plug the open injector ports with a clean shop rag or towel. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.